Hey everyone, Chris here. Today's video is going to be, well, you can tell by the title, on the Legacy Firearms holster for the HK VP9. And I'm really stoked about getting into it. But before we dive in, I just want to say I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in the past month. My life's been kind of a little busy at the moment, and I do apologize about that. We're going to be getting back on track with videos here pretty soon. I got a couple of projects that I've been kind of working on. And I just want to say thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen, for all the love and support that you've shown me in this channel over the past two years of, you know, doing reviews and YouTube videos. And I just want to say thank you so much. And a big shout out to Denver Survival. If you guys are in the market looking for some survival gear, camping gear, bags, med bags, you know, go ahead and hit them up. Legacy Firearms Holsters, as always, making some great quality craftsmanship holsters out there i did pay for all the holsters i paid out of my own pocket for this nobody sent me anything there was no emails no nothing no exchange of anything yes i'm an affiliate link with legacy firearms holster you get five percent off i get five percent off everybody get five percent off so that's the only thing there other than that i paid full price out of my own pocket for these holsters and by golly i am very thankful because they're great great holsters there are plenty of other holster companies out there you got tier one bravo t-rex arms you know the list goes on but legacy you know goes over everything there's like four or five people that do checklists on every single inch of the holster which i appreciate because you know, 140, 170 bucks. These holsters get expensive. The more that you customize, the more it's going to get, you know, up there in price. So use the affiliate link if you'd like to. If not, totally fine. No big deal. But we have the traditional black with the hunter orange. And the lighting does make it seem like a different type of color, but that's all right. And then our washers, we do have the hunter orange, paracord hunter orange. And I'm really excited to start training with it start running and gunning and working on drawing from concealment especially going from iron sights to a dot you know training is key and you want a good quality holster to support all that weight and we can take a look at the fit and finish Ooh, look at that beautiful h and k we are safety checked Nothing in the magwell, nothing in the chamber. We got that Hollow Sun 507. Whew. Let's look at it. That's a beauty. And then we have the Streamlight TLR7A on here. I recently did a video on that as well. Great firearm. It runs, it shoots. What more can you ask for? You know, HK is doing it. I'm still a big CZ fan. Don't get me wrong. I'm still a big CZ fan. H and K love their ergonomics. So fit and finish. You get that audible and tactile click when you go to reholster. You can tighten or loosen up the retention if you would like. You know, all of that's personal preference. Tight, loose, all up to you. Of course, you know, we got a slot where we can carry a spare mag. And then carry ammo, we're kind of switching back over to the critical defense, 115 grain. Right now with the polymer 80, I have the um, critical duty. I think it's like the 135s. Run is smooth, no issues with any of them. It's just, you know, I haven't been able to run a red dot and I have an astigmatism and I want to be able to be proficient with the tools that I have at my disposal. God forbid something, you know, were to happen I want to be able to be proficient with the tools that I have so I'm very excited about taking this to the range running drills and come back with some little bit of feedback and hopefully we'll be able to get some range footage I've tried uploading some range footage but something happened between the GoPro and trying to upload it from the computer so unfortunately I wasn't able to get some good range footage Hopefully this time around we will, but I just wanted to show everybody the holster, kind of look at the fit and finish. This is what 
you know, the end product looks like. I mean, just outstanding. So there you go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for all the love and support. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one.